Hello Thinksters and welcome to a new Pandas tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn all about the Pandas function getDummies. And this uh, function converts categorical data into dummy or indicator variables. So uh, to get started we will have a look at a simple example to understand the basic functionality. Um, so we start this with this example up here where we first of all import the Pandas library to be able to use the method and then we create a simple Python list that contains several characters and we assign this list to the variable x and finally we apply the get dummies function and inside the functions parentheses we put in the list um, x as the argument and when we execute that we can see that the output is a pandas data frame so the data frame consists of the columns a b and c and the rows uh, 0 1 2 3 and 4 and the cell entries are either 0 or 1 so um, we will now see what's exactly happening here so the column labels a b and c are the unique characters from the list that we applied to the get dummies function and uh, the number of the rows in the data frame equals the length of the list uh, so we've got five rows here and as we can see we've also got five characters in the in the list that we applied and the ones and zeros in the data frame are the actual dummy variables so um, when we have, have a look for example at the very first entry which is in column a and in row zero we can see that this value is a one and that means that the first entry of the list is the character a because it's uh, in row zero here and it's in column a and when we have a look at the list, we can see that the first character is indeed an A. Another example um, could be the data frame entry in uh, the third row. So that's row two and column C. And this entry is also a one because it is uh, in the list, there is a C at the third place. So this is how that uh, basically works. And now we will see how this um, how this get dummies function handles NAND values. Um, therefore, we have this other Python list here, and this list um, contains actually the same values as the one from the first example, except for uh, the last character, um, which is replaced by a NAND value, and we use the np.nan value here so that's from the numpy library that's why we have to import numpy here and yeah when we execute that we get another data frame and um, just the function creates another data frame just like in the example above but um, again we get three columns a b and c and five rows and the only difference here compared to the first example is the last row. Uh, here we have all zeros exclusively. And that's because uh, the last value from the list is a NAND value, which we can't assign, can't assign to either A, B or C. Um, however, we can make the NAND values uh, visible in the resulting data frame. By, and we do so by applying the dummy NAR parameter. And this is how we do it. So we uh, set this parameter. This, uh, it, it expects a Boolean value, so we uh, set it equal to true. And that way, uh, as we can see, we add another column with the label NAN in the resulting data frame. And now, as we can see in the last rows, um, in the last row, the NAN entry is now a one because of the NAN value in the list. And this way, we basically make the NAN values uh, visible. Um, by now, we have seen how to apply the get dummies function on uh, Python lists. However, we can also apply this function to a data frame. So therefore, um, we use this data frame, which we create here, 
and we assign it to df. So um, as we can see, we get uh, four columns, A, B, C, and D, and three rows, 0, 1, and 2. And the columns A and B contain characters, whereas uh, C and D contain integer values. So uh, now we apply the get dummies function um, on this data frame. So we say pd.getDummies and inside here we just put in df, which is the data frame. And yeah, we get a pretty large data frame as a result. Uh, the columns C and D remain unchanged compared to the initial data frame because only columns with either object or category data type will be converted. And as we see in the initial data frame, these columns data types, data types are integer, so they can't be converted. But we also get two uh, A underscore columns and three B underscore columns. And that's because in the initial data frame, there are only um, two unique values in column A and three unique values in column B. And yeah, the cell entries here are again the ones and zeros, which are the actual dummy variables, just as with the lists. Um, for example, the, the cell entry one in the first row of the um, capital A underscore A column means the first value from the A column in the initial data frame is the character A. Um, Especially in larger data frames, it might be that we only want to convert specific columns instead of converting like every possible column. And therefore, we use the um, columns parameter, which we assign the labels of the columns that we want to convert. And we use the data frame that we created again for this purpose. So um, but now we add the columns parameter. And this is how we do it. So um, we assign this parameter a list with the list entry B. That means that we only want to get the dummy variables of uh, this specific column. So in the resulting data frame, the first um, three columns uh, are unchanged. Uh, they are the same as in the initial data frame. The columns C and D are unchanged again because they are as I already said, neither from the object data type nor from the category data type. And A remains unchanged because we uh, we, got, we didn't add it to our columns parameters list. And the last three columns in the resulting data frame are the encoded variables uh, from column B. And they are encoded the same way as in the examples above. So by default, if we um, do not set the columns parameter um, specifically, it is set to none, and this way all the columns with either object or category data type will be converted. And we saw that in the previous examples uh, where we did not set the columns parameter. So in these cases, all possible columns got converted. We can also change the prefixes for our new columns in the resulting data frames. Um, we do that by adding the prefix parameter. And yeah, now we again perform the get dummies operation on the data frame that we created, adding the prefix parameter. And we assign this um, parameter the labels for the converted columns, basically. And this list uh, should be the same length uh, as the number of the columns that gets converted. So this is how we do it. And we do not uh, specify the columns parameter here, so all possible columns get converted.
So since there are two columns that get encoded, A and B, we apply two prefixes here because the list should uh, equal the length of the, or should equal the number of the columns that get uh, converted, as I said. And we choose the prefixes column one and column two. And the resulting data frame now shows the new prefixes before the, um, before the, um, before the variables, basically. And uh, yeah, we can also change the prefix separator. So we can see the prefix um, for the variable label is uh, defined with an underscore, but we can change that by applying the prefix sep parameter. So we basically perform the same get dummies operation but we set the prefix sep parameter here and um, we assign it a colon. And this way the prefixes um, here are separated with um, a colon instead of an underscore. But we can uh, actually, since the prefix separator or the prefix sep parameter expects a string, we could um, basically put in anything that we want. But a colon is something that might be useful. So um, yeah, all in all, we learned all about the pandas function get dummies. We learned uh, the basic functionality of this method, how to handle NAND values, uh, how to perform the function on data frames as well as on lists, and how to only encode specific columns. And we saw how to set different prefixes and prefix separators. Uh, yeah, that was the tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something and I see you in the next one.